So the idea was um, we're not just breaking bread together, but we're really breaking boundaries. We're breaking the boundaries of the walls of the church, breaking boundaries in terms of what time church happens, breaking boundaries in terms of um, who feels welcome around the table. Because even though we say all are welcome in the Episcopal Church, some people don't feel worthy. I think it's um, a personal Thing, where people just don't feel um, that they're good enough, that they need to get their lives in order before they can come into the church building. And what we found with Breaking Bread is that people can bring their whole authentic selves, you know, with all of their baggage, um, because there's a recognition that we all have it. And I think that's why when we have conversations, too, during Breaking Bread, people are willing to open up very quickly. There's this level of trust and of understanding um, that we all have our own stories to share um, and that we all matter. The other boundary that we're breaking in terms of religion is that not even everyone who comes to Breaking Bread is um, an Episcopalian and not even Christian. Um, we've had people come who are just really interested in spirituality and um, sometimes we have people who participate in everything and might not take the bread and wine, but it's never been a moment where people feel uncomfortable or excuse themselves. The community just kind of goes with the flow and those who want to take it, take it, and those who don't, don't, and there's never even a need to identify in terms of where we're at. We just always say, participate however you feel comfortable. So it was really important early on that we had a place where kids were welcome. Just personally, I have two little kids and I work a lot and so to have a community where my kids would be welcome um, and be integrated as part of it was important to me. Lizzie also has small kids and so quite a few other people, um, but we didn't want it to be a parents group. We wanted it to just simply be a community where everybody, regardless of age, was welcome. Um, and was valued and that's we've looked a lot at accessibility issues um, to make sure that the places we're meeting are accessible to people of all ages and abilities um, and that there's kind of safe spaces for kids there's absolute craziness sometimes with the kids but it's also fun they get their hands dirty and <laughs> you know help celebrate the Eucharist and um, and they enter into it as they are able to, but you know, no one's ever complained, at least not to me, <laughs> about the kids. Um, it's definitely not a silent space, <laughs> which you know, there is a need for that sometimes, and you know, maybe sometime we'll do a silent meditative thing, but for now, we just kind of go with the flow, and um, whoever comes is who's meant to be there, and they're meant to participate in it. So they do. Um, and people take turns kind of gathering up the kids and <laughs> re-engaging them if they start going a little crazy. It's not just like the parents have to take care of their own kids. Um, and we don't need childcare because the kids are part of it, which is pretty cool.